What is the most NSFW thing that happened in your high school? So just last year, my school got Apple TVs for the projectors, and had us all get iPads, someone got the passwords to the projectors, and kept putting porn up during lectures, we still don't know who it was, but they are a legend in my book. One kid pissed his pants on purpose to teach a lesson to the one teacher who never let anyone use the restroom. In the middle of the cafeteria, a guy whipped out his D and smacked another kid across the back of his head with it. The target was a guy widely assumed to be gay and occasionally bullied for it. The guy who whipped it out was expelled that afternoon. I knew a dude who was nicknamed Armpit. The reason why he was called Armpit, he got caught ducking his girlfriend's armpit fat during school because she got tired of giving a hand job. He'll probably never lose that nickname. Cholo gang member tried to grab the school cop's gun when he was attempting to break up a fight between the varsity basketball team and one of the two local Cholo gangs. A kid that reached for the gun got elbowed in the temple by the cop then tased in the head. Followed by the emptying of a half of a can of mace on the dude. Also, there was a kid from one of the aforementioned gangs that turned over a kid in a wheelchair. He spit on him and called him a lay message. The dean of students jumped from the second floor onto a lunch room table, absolutely destroyed it, to stop a fight. It was so awesome, but probably not safe for his job. I had lots of sex with my super hot teacher in high school. It was amazing she had the biggest tits too. I was homeschooled BTW. A lot of things. But the funniest was when I was a senior. One of the girls who graduated the year before, small school, we all knew her became a pretty well-known porn star. When it was discovered, everyone was gossiping about it. So genius friend decides to use the teacher's PC to play the video for our class. The teacher is over talking to another student when suddenly, loud moaning, he freaks. But being an awesome guy, doesn't report it to administration and just makes friends life hell for a bit. Edit. Alright. Fine. Savannah Stern. Not a huge star but relatively popular a few years back. Hidden DEs, Penny, on several pages in the yearbook. Seniors were able to purchase pages towards the back of the book that they could custom design. Most of these are pictures and dedications to good times with friends. High school sports, ETC, a group of cheerleaders each had massive collages of pictures. And hidden here and there were big old hairy Ds. Along with a few pics of the girls streaking, they weren't noticed until after the yearbooks were published and distributed. Cheerleaders weren't allowed to walk during their graduation ceremony. In our high school, we had a keyboarding teacher that was fired for paying a student $100 and giving him good grades for sexual acts. They never actually had sex. The story goes he was invited over to the teacher's house to sit in the bathtub while getting sprayed with chocolate syrup in his underwear. The teacher took pictures of him and then had a student feed him pineapple in the nude. I bought my weed from this kid later in life. A guy at my school got his D out and wanked under the desk during maths. Two people to a desk. He thought he was being really stealthy and no one knew. Everyone around him knew. The teacher noticed the guy wasn't paying attention so walks up and slams his hands on the guy's desk. As he came, there was love juice on the underside of the desk, his hand and his trousers. Dude got suspended for a week and the girl that sat next to him asked to move desks. Well, the boys in my class once managed to start playing a very explicit porn video on the TV when the teacher was out of the room. So I guess that. I also heard some very NSFW rumors about a girl in our year who gave blowjobs under desks and had sex in the school's disabled toilets. Those rumors were probably true too. I went to a Christian school the senior trip was a mission trip. The main part of the trip was the city drama. The guy playing Jesus in the drama got caught in the act of ducking a girl on the trip. Mission aborted. Our yoga teacher decided to have drug fueled orgies with like 5 of the football players on a regular basis. Apparently she would also send explicit images to the vice principal. Sure was an interesting year. Then again. It seemed like this had happened every year. Another year. And a Thursix related arrest. Edit. She went to jail. The court recordings are pretty funny. I masturbated in every restroom stall in my high school. Both girls and boys restrooms. I had a shop teacher who, for some reason, 
thought it would be a good idea to have students use the equipment in the shop with blindfolds on. The idea was that it would help the students feel more at one with the tools. Before long things got carried away and students were using things like the table saw with blindfolds on. In comes the second shop teacher and sees kids using power tools with blindfolds on. He starts going crazy and asking what the hell is going on. The students point him towards the first teacher. And without saying a word the angry teacher walks up to the other and smashes him right in the face. Class dismissed. Our school seniors always were allowed into the school the Sunday night before their last Monday morning to play the senior prank. The seniors decided instead of filling the halls with balloons as their class prank, they would do something more creative. 16 girls and 12 boys brought lunch trays into every bathroom stall the school had. Small school BTW. They super glued the lunch trays onto the toilets and closed the open toilet seat. Covering the sides of the trays and holding it in place, they all proceeded to take massive its, rumored to be sugar-free gummy bear laced its, on the trays and all over the toilets, leaving the rest of the school to find them the next morning. Who the hell glues lunch trays to toilets and it's on them? Who thought of that plan? Anyways senior prank was cancelled from then on. Also no lunch trays brought outside the cafeteria. Nasty mo for duckers. Several of us walked in on a teacher and a student having sex backstage in the auditorium. No one ever told the administration and no one was fired. The student was a senior and 18 BTW. During my sophomore year of high school, my girlfriend and I used to have a sex every day after school. One day, we decided to do it on campus, outside, in a ramp designed like a spiral staircase. We got caught, got suspended and became gods just by merit of not being expelled for it. Some guy took a writ on the school stage and whipped his ass with the curtains. In the dressing rooms after gym. Too tough. Popular guys in school who nobody would ever duck with were being their usually douchey selves and one of them was going around flashing his D at everyone because he thought it was hilarious. These guys thought it was funny to pretend to act gay because they're friends and so obviously straight. Long story short. They took it a too far when the guy whose D was out was dared to let the other guy touch it and the guy, out of ducking nowhere, licks the tip of his cock in front of the whole class. They try to laugh about it as the whole room was in utter shock. Nobody dared say a word and even the guys who suck up to them had a woe. That was a bit too far. What the duck vibe to them. Everyone silently got changed and left. It was never mentioned again aside from whispers and rumors around the school. These guys would never be called out on it by anyone. So it just kind of got forgotten. Some girl paid a guy a fiver so that she could suck him off in the toilet. Then there was a fight or something. And a warning was put out about Tumblr cause loads of the 13 year olds started posting nudes on Tumblr. God that place was awful. Last year, a group of couples decided to get together and have a sex under the stairs day. Coincidentally all six couples were suspended by third block. Also, very very bloody fight between two gangs. A girl in a wheelchair got ran over by a bus in the parking lot. That year had a lot of full class punishment because when it happened nobody spoke up. Teacher busted giving another teacher a handy in the auditorium. Lunch break. During my sophomore year, there was a set of twins who were freshmen. These two lovely ladies thought it would be fun to offer blowjobs for a whopping price of $3 per person. These girls were not attractive at all and were just pure repulsing. The kicker is how they got caught. One student received a blowjob. Thought it was so bad and he demanded his money back. The girl refused so he told the principal. These two girls are now known as the $3 whores as they go into their junior year. Someone was growing 12 bud plants in our high school. He planted them in a corner of the campus where almost no one went to. The plants were big and healthy and were watered by the campus sprinkler systems. I had a lot of spending money that year. Assistant football coach got caught sending D pics to two freshman girls. They would also sneak into his room after school and he'd let them watch him jerk off. The worst part was he seemed super Mormon on the surface. His fiance was also extremely pretty. Surprised me when we found out. Middle school. An African American student who would routinely whip out his D in class to show off to our classmates was seen by our wheelchair bound African American math teacher. After several instances of this happening. The teacher calmly rolled over and explained. If I see that thing again. 
I'm going to take it. Had a friend in 9th grade who had written a death note of sorts to air out his feelings and had let slip to someone that he had it. On top of the list was the guy who had humiliated him recently. The administration, wisely, decided to make sure if this was something that warranted some investigation. I was interrogated and asked if he was capable of following through with it. I explained that, while not the best idea in the world, he wouldn't act on his death note. I also had to explain where the death note idea came from. I did have my doubts. He wasn't the closest friend I'd had. But I still thought I knew enough about him to say he wouldn't do something horrible. It turned out to be right and nothing ever came of it. It all just kinda blew over and the guy who humiliated my friend ended up getting punched in the face in one of the most hilarious one-sided battle videos I'd ever seen. Edit. Wow. I didn't expect this many responses. I tried searching for the video. But it must have been taken down years ago. It's a shame. It was really funny. I'll explain what I remember below. A girl who was perceived to be innocent was caught giving a guy head in the boys bathroom at lunch. Also there was some sort of gonorrhea outbreak that could be traced back to one guy. In an art class. Someone who was really high off X whipped out his D and started jacking off to the art teacher while muttering mamacitud under his breath. However. I will say in his defense that she was a very attractive woman. There was this super tall girl in high school who was rumored to have ducked a security guard we had that was affectionately nicknamed Big Black. The school pretty much assumed it was true when out of nowhere. The girl and Big Black just disappeared from the school after we had a week long break. The year before I got to my high school, the track coach driver's ed teacher was teaching a class of sophomores. He went to put on a video of the dangers of drunk driving or defensive driving or whatever it was supposed to be. Turns out he mixed up his driver's ed tapes with his stash of kiddie porn. Long story short. He's not with civilized society anymore. Well last week I saw some of the baseball team gumming coke in the bathroom. Chick got H clapped in a car in the parking lot. I went to boarding school. One evening after the school day. Most of the us were playing video games while the unit idiot, who we lovingly called Sebastard, was playing with one of the staff members miniature dachshunds in the day room. All of a sudden, we hear a staff member ask, why are you putting that dog's genitals in your mouth? Sebastard denied it, and we were told to not speak of it to anyone in school. So of course the entire student body was privy to Sebastard's furry fellatio fun by the next day. The staff member ended up getting fired over the incident. And Sebastard was never punished because the rest of the staff denied it happened for some reason. We all knew he did it. Because he was a sexual pervert and an idiot. Sebastard was caught getting ducked in the butt by a fellow student who had a severe learning disability very soon after the dog fiasco. His defense was, we were tricked. Sebastard claimed that another student dared him to do it. And I guess that was a valid excuse in his peanut head. I wonder if the dog came onto him as well. And that was why he put its little puppy D in his mouth. Cut to now. 10 years later. And Sebastard the dog blow now is a registered red 6 offender for molesting an elementary school age kid. I guess that is a step up from dog blowing and retard buggery. TLDR. Student was caught blowing a dog and getting butt bucks by a retard. A cheerleader and her boyfriend ditched class to duck in the middle of the common area. We had a bunch of buildings. Roughly centered around a field, and there were benches. They picked one, and went at it. Obviously, they got caught. The legendary fap slap. This kid like 16 years old. Kinda scummy is jerking it in our bathroom. Another kid walks in. Kid 1 asserts dominance by finishing into his hand instead of stopping like a beater. Then proceeds to slap kid 2 in the face with jizz covered hand like kid 2 had just insulted an Irish man's mother. No reason. Word traveled. Neither kid was at my school long after that. We had a hazing scandal that got national news coverage. A freshman football player got beaten up and thrown into a dumpster after he walked into the varsity locker room and refused to leave. Apparently the football team had an unwritten rule where freshman players weren't allowed in. To make matters worse. After his mom found out what happened she drove onto the football field during practice and tried to confront the coach. It was a huge it storm. Our head football coach ended up resigning and our team had to vacate our season because it was discovered that one of the kids that beat up the freshman wasn't zoned for our school and was using a fake address. 
two people in my grade thought it was a good idea to have a six in the gym on a balcony while basketball tryouts were going on below them. Nobody got expelled surprisingly. Principal's son got caught masturbating during class. I also went to get night school. I walked into my first class and there was police tape all around the room and blood splatters all over the walls. Good ol' math class. The janitor walked in on a girl giving two different guys blowjobs behind the gym in the wrestling area. He pulled down his pants and had her give him a blowjob as well. Just kidding. She was suspended. A girl gave this guy head in a stairwell while he recorded it and then he sent it to all of his friends. He returned to lunch with the biggest eruption of cheers I have ever seen. One girl decided she wanted to blow all the football players decent in one day. In our freshman year, she completed that mission. If my memory serves right she also blew the wrestling team one or two years later. This same girl also wrote really raunchy letters to her boyfriend at the time. She got caught cheating on him. Obviously you can't blow like 30 guys and expect them all to keep it a secret. And as payback he made like 1000 copies and literally plastered the entire 2 block campus with it. I even found a few copies in books in the library as a TA my senior year. Long live the BJ Queen. Another girl, our valedictorian, got caught ducking guys in bathrooms and on the piano in the band room. There was a kid who simply went be by the name Carnage. He hummed a classroom door knob right when class got out and then came on it. Edit. Sorry I'm using swipe text. My high school was previously a strictly catholic school, so we now have an obsolete chapel on our campus that was once in use, but no longer is. Lots of students have a six in it. I personally only know of one couple who did, but it's a pretty well known thing around the school. Guy got caught masturbating in the bathroom, started to come, then used cum as hand wash claiming to wash his hands. No good sir, you aren't washing your hands. True story. Auto shop. 18 years ago, teacher puts in some VHS about how engines work or something and leaves the room. Student swaps the video with Debbie Does Dallas. Teacher comes back to find class full of boys watching Debbie Do Dallas. Gets super pissed and runs to the principal's office. While he is gone the students swap the video again and hide the DDD VHS in the shop somewhere. Principal and shop teacher arrive to find a class full of students closely following engine video. Nobody rats. Sorry MR. Smith. A guy walked up to me and groped my nuts and walked off laughing. This is actually an event that took place after my graduation. A huge lawsuit was held after it was found out that a girl was having sex with multiple guys in the storage room of the wrestling weight room. A picture even went around which I wish I hadn't been shown and the crazy thing was the girl and guy depicted were fully undressed. Ass naked. No clothes. During school hours. What the actual duck. Late. But, these should be fun. Girl got caught plowing a guy in the newly built science wing. Girl smashed her teacher in the face because he supposedly asked for a sexual favor. Principal was fired for altering grades for the baseball players. This fairly built black wrestler would threaten all the skinny white kids. Well, one day a group of kids that this wrestler stepped to answer back and jumped the black kid. His wrestling career ended right then and there. Seeing as how he was pummeled by tons of school books. Photos surfaced of a certain teacher at a local bar with female students. The same female students in the photos had alcoholic beverages in hand in these photos. Teacher. Fired. Students. Suspended. Saw gang fights. Across the street from school. In the football field. In the gym. Watched one kid attempt to stab another kid only to miss and stab himself in the upper thigh. Two guys. Who happened to be gay. It wasn't known right away. Were caught doggy style bareback in the varsity weight room. The new girl literally had the JV football team in a line in order to give them overall six. The sister of one of my friends got caught screwing her boyfriend behind the school. That and someone blew up the boys bathroom the first year I was there. I learned how to hold it in all day. Haha, <laughs> the English teacher smokes weed all the time in her car. As do a lot of others apparently and she talks about drugs all the time to my friend during class. And she's been trying to buy shrooms from him for months. And he's threatening to figure are you 5 how to do it in case she's threatening to catch him. He ended up throwing them in a bush and telling her to go to the bush after school I believe. Not necessarily NSFW. But pretty. 
Crazy-ish? MMF in the stairwell. One teacher, two students. Middle school. But mentally challenged chick got her period and rubbed it all over the bathroom walls.